And space for the cross. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. We're going to be looking at Flashback Marcelo today. A lot of player reviews to do today because they released a lot of cards. But uh, we're looking at someone who is 5-star skills with a 4-star weak foot, left-footed um, with the 5'9 height with the high-low work rates, right? So we're looking at someone who is going to be an attacking-oriented fullback. But with the instructions nowadays, I feel like personally when you put them on stay back while attacking, they do follow that instruction quite nicely. Uh, the way that I see it with these types of fullbacks is the high-low work rates with all these specific stats on the card is basically just telling you, hey, if I do attack, I'm going to be pretty good at it, right? So that's what it looks like on the card for me whenever I take a look at the stats. The two different chemistry styles that I would recommend putting on the card is going to be the anchor chemistry style to give them a nice little physical boost or the shadow chemistry style. I would recommend putting the anchor chemistry style on this card first since it's cheaper than the shadow. Try them out, see if you want that pace upgrade, if it's important to you. But if it's not important to you, then you know, give them the shadow or give them the anchor chemistry style because I think having the physical boost with the strength and aggression with the type of card that he is would be a huge beneficial factor because you could see that it gives him plus tens and important stats and then his interception is already quite nice with a plus five. So yeah. We're going to go ahead and try them out in-game. The tactics that we're going to be lined up in the beginning is going to look like this. Uh, Marcelo will be on stay back while attacking initially. And then as I play the game, I will switch the card accordingly to how I think he wants to play in-game. Because that's a huge thing, right? Sometimes strikers need different instructions to make them play better. Just like Marcelo being an, uh, an attacking-oriented fullback, maybe he needs certain instructions to play better. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. For kickoff here at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary and joining me. In All right, let's see what his general on the ball movement is like. Ooh. Yep, yeah, good little left stick dribbling right there. That skill move is really helpful to have. Ball rolls. Yeah, very responsive on the ball, very noticeable too. Let's see what his pass is like here. Very good. Could open up the space here a little bit. I actually might put him on um, balance instructions right off the bat. High low work rates. Look at how he's positioned right now. He actually does stay back there. He's not over committing if he doesn't need to, which to be honest with you guys, if I use the card myself, I would still have him on stay back while attacking because for me, it would just make the most sense to have a more balanced team in general. Just a little bit of dribble dribbles right there and maybe a shot across goal. Good little finish for Ron Felix. So um, yeah, with the stay back while attacking, he does stay in position quite nicely. So that's going to be like a generic thing. Like I think generically as a, as a fullback, He's going to be very good. But with those high-low work rates, I want to experiment with him actually pushing forward to see um, how he moves generally. On the ball. So you can see on the radar right now that he's already kind of like stretching the play. So you can see that if I pass it this guy initially, look at where Marcel's position now. So he he does uh, really follow his high-low work rates on the balance instruction. So if there's ever like a given situation where you need to stretch out the play, if I give him the ball here, you can see that he's occupying Chong in that position, position, right? So Chong is no longer marking anyone in the middle, right? So if, the, if he ever needs to defend with him, at least you see how, like, if I give this ball off, boom, Marcelo can be through on, uh, not through on goal, but he'll have that side open now uh, to be able to open up the space for himself, right? So that's the whole thing about overcommitting fullbacks is that you stretch out the play, and when you do that, you could score from those general opportunities. Now, you see this part right here is where I don't like the fullbacks to be on balance because, uh, or where I don't like them to be on balance because they kind of push up a little bit more. So if someone is using the high pressure tactics, because your players are not on stay back while attacking, they're not really close to you. So you kind of have to spam R1 um, to make the player come close to you. For instance, if I were to do this, I'm spamming R1 right now, right? And then Marcelo comes close to me. Um, but for me personally, the stay back while attacking just makes more sense. I do want to see what he's like attacking here. He's going to have nice little space here. Let's see how fast the skill move is here. Very smooth and on. I like that he keeps possession of the ball there. That's very important. I'm going to see if I can get a nice little attacking play here. Nice little ball roll touch. Good, good physical presence there. He kind of committed back like not too bad there. Like when I, when I myself overcommitted him, he actually did a really good job. 
of tracking back himself, even with the high low work rates. You can tell that the way he's running right now, you definitely need um, a shadow chemistry style on him because he's so he's so fluid on the ball that with that acceleration boost, especially since it's a plus 15, it'll make a huge difference on the card in regards to dribbling and general defending. Okay, so now we're, we're really up here at the top. And Marcelo didn't overcommit there on balance instructions, so we're going to chill over here a little bit. Yeah, I like his stutter runs. His stutter runs are good. He doesn't overcommit when he doesn't need to, and I really like players that do that. It's like it's the same thing with the uh, with the strikers as well for me. Like I don't like when my my players overcommit. Um, and you can see that on balance, he's not necessarily in that left position. He just gives you an extra avenue to work with if you need it, right? First time pass, there we go, nice. Great passing stats right there. A generic pass, nothing too special on that. And <laughs> his goalie just took him out completely. Yeah, he's very he's he's very smooth with the skill moves. He just feels good on it, right? But I think that acceleration boost would would do him wonders for sure. We're gonna overcommit him here. There we go. Nice little skill move to get past this defender here. There it is. Body feint to get the space here. Fake shot stop to get that near post angle. We almost get the space there. Not going to overcommit that. Still not going to overcommit that. Now we will. Shot across goal. Nice little finish. Yeah, so so far he just kind of feels like a, a fun-oriented card, right? Like, uh, you know that you're going to have a nice attacking presence with his card because he kind of offers you everything that you need uh, for an attacking player to be. But I know I keep saying the same thing, but he definitely needs that shadow chemistry style for sure. Oh, nice skill move right there. Oh, nice little goal right there. I kind of felt like the goalie was going to overcommit me. That's why I just went for the chip shot. Outrageously skillful. He's trying to create something, and it's there for Marcelo. Oh, he hits the post. No way. His dribbling was so good there. Oh, he's going to overcommit now. Ball roll, ball roll, touch. There it is. It's always... <laughs> when I got the angle against the goalkeeper, I had, to, I had to do the ball roll, ball roll, just to make sure he pushes a little bit closer to me, but it's that touch part right there that you need, and uh, he has good finishing enough to score it. Ah, oh, nice. It's always worth uh, getting past the goalkeeper that way, because when you do like the regular shots, it doesn't really do the wonders for you. Alright guys, so for this game we're going to tell him to be on balanced instructions, but this time we're going to tell him to... I kind of want him to be inverted instead of overlapping, because if he's inverted and he's making those underlapping runs inside of the wide players, I think I prefer that more because... If I'm attacking with Gonzalo Gedge and then Marcelo himself des decides to make that middle run, it actually might... It actually might make some really good attacking opportunities for me. So I'm going to go ahead and try that first. And then uh, we'll basically take it from there. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. I love his dribbling. His dribbling is it's really responsive. The the way you can tell if the dribbling is like really good on a player or not is when you use that left stick, left stick dribbling. Left stick, left stick dribbling is basically like when you go backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Like those little movements uh, allow you to open up the space really nicely because defenders kind of people like like to overcommit to the one, to the initial part that you're dribbling in, right? Um, I really like Marcelo on the uh, on the inverted run so far. Yeah, when I'm attacking with, with Gonzalo Gedge, I can see that uh, Marcelo starts to occupy his position instantly. This is the inverted one I'm waiting for, right there. That's it. And he hits the post. I should have touched it and finessed it, man, but I don't trust the finesse shots in this game. See if Marcelo makes that run there. He makes it around the outside. Starts to make that run on the inside. Perfect. Opens up the space. Shot across goal. S saves it. 
pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Gonzalo Gedish. There we go, got that near post angle. Nice little goal of Gonzalo Gedge. You can see that Marcelo gets in, he gets more involved in the play when he has that inverted instruction. I am noticing that because he with the inverted instruction, they definitely occupy the cam's position when they're not in the right position. So that's actually a really good to think a uh, good thing to do with him because he's an attacking oriented fullback. Nice. That's a really good, uh, really good play right there. And space for the cross. <laughs> oh my god, this guy, he's fun, man. He's fun to use. This is an attacking oriented fullback. He's a ton of fun to use, man. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a really, really fun card to use. I do recommend giving him the Shadow Chemistry Style boost because I think that giving him the Acceleration boost definitely helps out with his general dribbling stats, right? Because when you do the ball roll and you accelerate, having very, very quick responsiveness on the ball, I think is very vital for this card. But I think attacking-wise, he was brilliant. I think defensive-wise, he was really, really good. Um, I think he's more attacking-oriented than defensive-oriented for sure. You can definitely... Uh, see those features of the card before you even play the uh, play the game and it's very very noticeable in game that he's also very very similar to that uh, but whether the card is worth 300k is entirely up to you guys because it really depends on whether you guys are doing the SPCs whether you're grinding out the content I don't see this card getting a an improved stat of what it is right now uh, Mendy plays more than he does right now and I don't really see Marcelo getting like a team of the season uh, at any point so um it is gonna. I, I think it's gonna be the highest rated version of his card. But it's entirely up to you guys whether you not want, or whether or not you guys want to do the card. I had a ton of fun using it. Um, I think I think that the on the ball and off the ball movement with him movement with him with the instructions that I was using was very good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I'll catch you guys for the other reviews today. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.